Hello YouTube, Daniel from Maximum Photoshop's back here with another tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to make a really quick, simple and easy tutorial, but I wanted to put up a video today, so let's get started. Here you see a really nice, cool looking wood texture, and it's all made internally in Photoshop. So let's get right to it. I'm going to make a new document. I'm going to make the width 1920 by 1080 for height. Hit OK. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a background. Now the background is going to be a gradient. The first color is going to be FF, 8A, 0, 0. And the last color is going to be 9E, 5D, 0, 0. Hit OK and OK. Make sure that it's linear. linear sorry. Now hold Shift while dragging across your screen and let go. All right. Now, if you want, you can always invert it or reverse it, but I'm going to leave it at that. Now, let's create a new layer. Take out your paint bucket tool and click it and make it black. All right. So, now we go to filter, we go to noise, and we go add noise. Now, make sure that the amount is on 100%, Gaussian, and monochromatic is checked. Hit OK. Now, the next step is to go to filter, blur, motion blur. Hit the motion blur, make the angle 90 or negative 90, distance at 180 or 179, and you can close, and hit OK once again. Now we're going to go ahead and crop the image. As you can see, we have these really clear lines here. We don't want clear lines, we want something like in the center of the image. There's two things that you can do. You can either go click Control T, and you can just drag it up, or you can crop the image down. So you know what? I'm just going to control T and drag it up. Control T is to transform. And while holding Alt, Alt, what will Alt will do is to affect both sides equally. So you can make a symmetric transform. So I'm going to just drag up. And so you can't see any of those clear lines. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to normal. And let's go to and drag through. And vivid light works. Linear light works the best, actually. So, there you go. If you want it from dark to light, all you have to do is Control T, right click, and flip horizontal on the background layer. Well, that's it, guys. Here's a really nice, simple, and easy tutorial on how to create a wood texture completely internally in Photoshop. I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my videos and to my channel. It means a lot to me and comment on any videos you want to see happen or any questions you have about Photoshop. Once again, thank you, and Daniel out.